The Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant is the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program, succeeding the joint multi-role initiative. The future vertical lift concept is to create a new rotorcraft that uses new technology, materials, and designs that are quicker, have further range, better payload, are more reliable, easier to maintain and operate, have lower operating costs, and can reduce logistical footprints. In October 2011, the Deputy Secretary of Defense issued the FVL Strategic Plan to outline a joint approach for the next-generation vertical lift aircraft for all military services. FVL is seeking to develop four separate lift classes, which may even become five if the program includes medium-lift aircraft for the Navy and U.S. Marine Corps, so the sheer diversity of requirements casts doubt that a single program can successfully produce different versions of a given design. It is a compound helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors, powered by two Honeywell T-55s, and made its first flight on 21 March 2019. Sikorsky Aircraft and Boeing are jointly producing a medium-lift-sized demonstrator they named SB-1 Defiant for Phase 1 of the program. Originally planned to fly in late 2017, its first flight was delayed in April 2017 to early 2018. Once flight testing begins, the aircraft will be evaluated by the Army for further development. Sikorsky is leading the development of Phase 1 with an aircraft based on their previous Sikorsky X-2 design. Boeing plans to lead Phase 2, which is the Mission Systems Demonstrator Phase. The Boeing Sikorsky team is seen to have an advantage with their large industrial base that may result in wider support from Congress. Their transport helicopter designs are the most used in the Army now, and the U.S. Army has had little interest in the tiltrotor technology in Bell's submission. Up to 2013, Sikorsky and partners have spent $250 million on X-2 and Raider. The team and aircraft will be separate from the S-97 Raider. The team feels confident in the SB-1 Defiant and is paying for more than half of its design costs. The last project the companies teamed up for was the RA-66 Comanche, which started in the 1980s and cost $7 billion before being cancelled in 2004. They say that factors outside their control, like budget cuts, requirement creep, and a long development period caused problems with the Comanche and not team dysfunctionality. Under the Comanche program, each company built different parts of the aircraft. For JMR, employees from both companies will work together. Swift Engineering Inc. supports the program with a major portion of the airframe structure designed and manufactured at the company's facility in San Clemente, California by an integrated team of Swift and Boeing employees. The timeline for the first flight has slipped several times. Originally scheduled for 2017, delays arose due to a requirement to implement automated fiber placement blade manufacture at the request of the U.S. Army. Further delays resulted in the first flight slipping past summer 2018. Dynamic systems like turboshafts, transmission, and rotors were scheduled to be tested at West Palm Beach, Florida, by the end of October 2018, before ground runs in November, then first flight to reach 200 knots within six months. The first prototype was unveiled in December 2018, and the first flight was pushed to sometime in early 2019. Ground runs began in January 2019, 15 hours of ground tests were needed before the first flight. The first flight took place on 21 March 2019 at Sikorsky West Palm Beach site in Florida. In the summer of 2019, flights were suspended to address a bearing issue with the main rotor. The aircraft reached a speed of 211 knots during level flight in October 2020. By December 2020, the demonstrator had logged 26 flight hours in 31 flights over the 21 months since first flight. Sikorsky and Boeing state the design is to have a cruise speed of 250 knots, but less range due to using the old T-55 engine. A new engine, the future affordable turbine engine, is to meet the radius requirement of 229 miles. Compared to conventional helicopters, the counter-rotating coaxial main rotors and pusher propeller offer a 100-knot speed increase, a 60% combat radius extension, and 50% better performance in high-hot hover performance. Sikorsky has said that the X-2 design is not suitable for heavy lift size, and instead suggests the CH-53K for heavy lift and tilt rotor for the Ultra class. Sikorsky plans to build the 30,000-pound class JMRTD at full scale to remove doubts about the scalability of the X-2 technology. Sikorsky Boeing states the SB-1 will be quick and nimble, with fast acceleration and deceleration, fast side-to-side -side movement, and the capability to hover with the tail up and nose down. The Defiant Demonstrator will be powered by the Honeywell T-55, which powers the CH-47 Chinook.